Okej, okay, jag började bara med den här musiken. För jag, jag gillar att börja med någon förband. And I, 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 I thought this one was good because you have a friend. Because when I came here, I, I really feel that I have many friends here. Yes. Okay, and I will tell, tell, tell you talk about darkness, and I, I will as, as well talk about my life and what, what has happened to me. Like yesterday, I, I thought that I, I, I can walk already, but you can see I, I cannot walk yet quite quite well. <laughs> so it still still takes some time. Okay, but now we go to darkness. And I will talk about the beauty of darkness, and my way to the darkness, and back to the light. And don't ever underestimate the power of the dark side, nor the power of silence or, or emptiness. The power is there where there nothing is. Nothing is, is everything. As my favorite philosopher, Chinese philosopher Lao Tse wrote about 2,400 years ago in his book Tao Te Ching, in, in verse num number 11, he wrote about the imp importance of what is not. And this Lao Tse is claimed to have lived in, in China at Tang Dynasty, around 4th four, four or 5th uh, century before Christ. And for, for some reason, there are not re really good pictures of him. So I, I take some material, but there still is. But, uh, and here is the... Some things from this verse number 11, which is one of my favorite verses in, in Tao Te Ching. Thus do we create what is not, what, sorry, thus do we create what is in order to use what is not. And now I go to this kind of part of the lecture which, uh, which I gave to my, 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 st my students, students, students in, 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 in China, because I'm a professor in, in South China and I have there about 6,000 students. And I went back there after my, my incident. I, I came, came to this kind of lecture. But hello, everybody. I'm back to GDUT. That's the name of my, my school. And I'm alive. And I'm so back in the light and so back in the darkness as well. And then I, I had to teach them about the Tao Te Ching because they don't know about Lao, Lao Tse's teachings. So I, I'm the biggest Chinese philo philosophy teacher, actually. Because in the, I don't know if you don't know this famous verse, but it, it says that if we, we join 30 spokes in the hub of the wheel, in the hub of the wheel, but yet it, it, it is the center hole that drives the chariot. And we shape the clay, clay to, to, to give a birth to a vessel. And it is in the, in the, in the hollow within it that makes it useful. So even, even if we make this kind of shape, we use the emptiness what is in here. That, that is what, what is important. And that's what we really have to re remember nowadays. And here is my, my kingdom now, nowadays. <laughs> Almost. I, I live and teach here every, every September, September, October. And here is my, my small Chinese village called Guangzhou. It has only 18 million people living. But I, I, love, I love, love it there. It's, it's nice, nice city. And when I met my students, I, I told them and also to my teachers that don't let anybody to, to cut your wings. And as a teacher, do not ever crush your students' wings. I love this painting by Hugo Simberg, a wound, wounded angel. I also told my, to my Chinese students that do not accept any given truth. Always question things and create your own, own truth. Because if you think about this guy, if he would, would have been just merely believing what, what, what this guy wrote, the, the road would be totally different nowadays. But he was crazy enough to start with his own, own stuff. And that's, that's why, why the world, world looks like it looks like nowadays. And life almost crossed my wings, but I decided to live and learn from this horrible experience. I revalidated my life, threw away n things not important, and I had thought I have no time to, to do re research. It was so stupid. And then I started to do my 
already in the hospital. I started to do my, my arm handling research on darkness. And it has given to me new eyes to, to, to see the, everything. And, and turn, turning my eyes to darkness and opened my eyes to the design in a new, 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 new way. And I, I feel that darkness should nowadays be taken more seriously as a design element, like the light is. But why not the darkness as well? And what happened to me one and a half, half a year ago? Well, I almost died. It was really close. I understood it while I was lying on, 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 the, on, on back on the, on, on the floor. Upon some Viking graves in the Ardes, uh, close to Stockholm, which were under our, our cottage, or Eva's cottage. I was waiting to hear the helicopter to come and take me to the hospital and rescue me. I knew it has to come really soon or I, I would die. And this was the scenery be around, around the, 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 the cottage, the Viking King graves. And I was dreaming that under the, under the cottage there must be something, something like this. And I could, I could feel those guys saying that, Vesa, come to meet us. And people asked me, that, did I hear any angels? But no, I did not, not hear any angels. And more, more, more or less, I heard, heard this guy speaking. I, I, I had heard this guy say that, Vesa, Vesa come, to, come to the dark side, Vesa. <laughs> no angels. <laughs> but I was calm because two years before I had... I had done my own laser sword, sword, which is about two and a half kilometers long to Helsinki. It, it looks like this. <laughs> it's really two, two and a half kilometers long. I saw you one, one fi film. It's, it's a really bad film, but I, I find, found it from, from the internet. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Here you, you will see a little bit more, more of my laser sword. It slices the, the town in, 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 two, in two. It was it was quite, it was quite, quite powerful powerful light. It starts from the from the rich part of the, or, or the city. It goes to the poor 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 town side and it, it, it hits the, the church there. It's amazing what what you, you can do with one 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 light light. Okay, let's continue in here. And the mainstream culture is pushing us to, to strongly to the light. And the mainstream culture is... Yes, sorry, again, here. I feel sometimes that the ma mainstream culture it's like the reincarnation of Darth Vader. And be careful with this, because, because when, when I was waiting, waiting for, for, the, for, the, for the ambulance to come, I, also, I was also lo looking at this, this one, let's see. start to think about the future and and uh, and uh, think that I had the friends and and 
I, I had been the musician also. I was the guitar player. And then I started to think how can, could I continue with the help, with help of friends. And I started to play piano again. Let's see here. And I found a piano teacher who, who came to play with me. And she could play the, the left hand. And I, I, I could play the right hand and, 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 and the melody. And I could start to play like this again. Eric Zati. I can play the melody. I took her two kids and we make music. I have to say, I, I started to cry when we played this for the first time. From my, from, from my friends, if, if you are in, in trouble or you want to do something. Yes, yeah, still here. And it's, it's really bad because the, the mainstream culture is ask, asking us to feel also the emptiness with something or with anything, and all the silence with, with sounds. There should be no emptiness or silence or, or darkness in, 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 this, in this world at the moment, but we have to fight for it. Because we had to remember what Lao Tse wrote about the imp importance of what is not that's so imp important. And what often prevents us to be good designers or, or artists is fear and greediness. And fear is, I will now give a face to, to fear. Here is a face of my, my really good friend, Kapo. He's a French bulldog and he used to be my daughter's dog. He's still alive, but. He had to be adapted to another fam family. And I don't know if you know, but we, you never know if a French bulldog, if, if he can swim or not. Only way to study it is to put, put it on, in the water. And here we try if, if Carpo can swim or not. And I saw, you can see the fear in his, in his face. You see, he, he can understand this might be my, my last day, day. It was a pure, pure fear in, in his face. But we had to try it anyway. Here is the face. Oh my God. A cop was thinking, that, and they, they are just taking pictures when, when I die. Oh. <laughs> but here he, he swims. Exactly like, like I decided to, to continue living, and, and I, I work as an architect. Like this, this spring, I've been, I've been designing one, one building every week, and I've been writing a new book every month, and I, I paint two oil, oil color paintings every, every day. That's my, my way to defeat the stroke. So I, I'm like Carpo. <laughs> I had fear on my face when I, was, I, I thought I, I would die. But I, I had to say, say that when I visited the death so close, I got rid of most of my fears. I'm still afraid of high places, but it's easier now when I sit in, the, in, the, in a wheelchair. I could as well say that my dream now is to learn to walk, walk but, but that is no dream, because I know I will do it. I just have to, okay, yesterday I, 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 was, I was thinking too much when I fell, but I will do it. No problem. A lot of work, but I do it. When I decided to do it, I, I know I will, I will do it. And I will now show you one of my, my latest projects here. When I decided to just to be myself and not to be afraid if somebody starts to say, that, what, what are the cities he doing? It's usually people say that about my work. <laughs> the, the Chinese government ordered me to do a, a church to Sichuan, a Lutheran church. And I decided to start from the darkness. Because in order to see the light, you ha you know, we have to go to the darkness. Otherwise, we don't see the light. And I, I, I got Rina Roos, a famous Finnish painter, to do the altar painting. And I, I was allowed to do design everything, all the furniture and everything. And I, I started from the darkness. To, I decided to create a dark, and dark interior. Because like you see here, 
with this way I, I can use the, the main entrance and, and natural light like real power. When we open these doors to the dark, dark church, the power of the natural light is amazing. And that's where the, if somebody gets married in this church, they walk from the darkness and they go out to this light. So the main, main entrance has a strong, strong, strong symbol about the darkness and, 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 and light. And this is the, I call it the, like a memory park. Only in China I think I can do something like this, that they are willing to, to, to lift up 40 steel poles just because of light. Because behind these, these poles there's a, there's a window, which I call the, 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 the forest of, of shadows. Because from, from these poles the, the light is, is uh, reflected through this window. And in every second of the day it looks different. Because the, the position of the earth changes. And in, in, this, in this furniture, the holes here are just to, to show that inside the furniture there is darkness. I was allowed to do every detail, even the, even the door handles. That was a dream come true process, which I, I'm, I, I'm afraid I would never get it in, in, in Nordic countries. Not in Finland, not in Sweden, not in Norway. And this is the main, main entrance. I, I think I got the, the imp somehow the idea for this from the wing, wing of, or angel. And that weird looking tower, that's a bell, bell tower. Because I was also allowed to, to design the, the church bells. And we used all, all the local, local handcraft people making them. And this is the priest, priest, oh, sorry, next one. This is the priest room. It was an amazing journey to, 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 to go to Setsua maybe 40, 40 times and, and to work with the local hand, handcraft people and, and with the client which was the, the gover government of China. It was an adventure. And I wanted to make it like, like, a, like a black box. And the quality of the work was amazing. One day I came to the, to the site, there was about 40 people on, on the elevation, hand sanding the, the, the elevation to make it smooth. I, don't, I have never, never seen any, at any Skanska working site anything that's like, like that happening. <laughs> All these corners were also hand sanded at the place in order to make them nice. And these are the church bells which I, which I designed. And the local guy was casting them. And this was a moment when we, we were there to, together tuning them up to the right, right melody or right pitch. And it's, it's funny, these, these door handles, I just made a shaky sketch and this Master Ying, a Chinese bamboo master, he followed every, every line which I had been drawing on the paper, all these shaky, shaky lines. And here is still the, the, the forest of shadows. It's amazing how the color changes when, when, the, when the light hits these rusty poles. And of course, in order to, to, there was no way to, to really to think how, how everything will look, look like and happen. So I made, I like, like, make like a couple of months tests in, in, my, in, my, in my studio, like building up some, some models and try, trying to imitate what, what might have, have happened. And then you have to take a risk, you have to dare to, to meet the fear. And you, you, don't, you don't know how it will look like, but you, you do what, how you feel like it, it might look like. And then you go for it. And 
And Nina Rose made a really, really good work with this painting. Because the painting is actually painting with, with two different layers, or three different layers. There's a backside of a wall, and there are two, two layers of glass which have a different painting. And then when you see the painting from different angles, it's always a different painting. Because it depends on, on, on what you see behind the color, one, one or its, its colors. And I even, even designed the, the altar bench. Even if my, I had those days, my, my girlfriend Eva, she said to me, Vesa, you cannot do like that. <laughs> but I did it anyway. <laughs> and this is the, the altar bench. I really, these holes are, are, are to show that there's always empty, uh, darkness inside the material. There's no light inside a bamboo. I was still play play the Eric Satie once once and and, and then I let some some pictures to stroll uh, roll. This music is now totally in in my soul. Okay, thanks, that's much all today.